coming up. Chanel versus Chickwin. We've seen Chickwin, he has not been using Geese Howard, been kind of running through the tournament with his gin. I'm not even sure who he picked right now. I wasn't paying attention. And Chanel, of course, with that Elisa. Yeah, but he has multiple characters. He'll pull out the Julie. He'll pull out the Zafina. He'll the do Eliza. that. Yeah. What's it going to be? Jin versus Elisa. Okay, all right. Here we go. And this has been the story. Japan versus Korea. Mm -hmm. Repeat it. Here it is again. Chikorin with Jin. Chanel asking for the crowd. Oh, the Michael Murray custom. I like it. <laughs> Telling you, man. I've seen some photos. Go to his Facebook. There's photos of him wearing this exact outfit. Doesn't he have like a wallet chain though? Yeah, the whole wallet chain, the whole <laughs> nine, man. He was that cool. Oh, right there. I've never <laughs> seen on the outfit. <laughs> He's trying to explain himself. Yeah, I did it. It was. I mean, you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Uh, balcony break early on. All right, goes for the back three. Tries to get that one extra hit with the Zemo cancel. Man, I feel like all of Chanel's matches have been incredibly close, and final game, he brings it back. Look, if you look at that match yesterday versus Gigas, I feel like he's more than prepared to deal with this top eight, right? Mm -hmm. But Chikrin pulling back out the gym, and that's the wall. Any hit is going to do it right now for Chikrin. Oh, the Beautiful. down four. Nicely done. Chikrin getting the first round with that down four. Fight. All right, still Japan versus Korea when it comes to this top eight as well. Yeah. Chanel early tracking. He's in that back three homing attack. Early balcony break too here. Oh, what a duck. And this is one of those stages that's got a balcony break and a wall break down below. I think it's going to open this up to be a very large stage. Oh. Got to be careful using that new extension. Mm -hmm. Oh, try to use the back to one. Not going to work out. Yeah, I've noticed that new extension a lot of times when you use it when you're too close to the wall, you have to don't get the wall combo. So you have to, have to choose the right combo. Yeah, you got definitely have to have some eyes for it to be sure. Spins the blue stuff early. Oh, nice the low parry. parry on the slide. That's going to be two rounds for Chicker. Yeah, Chanel's going to have to turn things around here. I mean, he nodded his head there like, okay, okay. But Chicker is just looking great right now. Oh, the oh. parry. Go straight into the 2-4. Nice little wave away move to get away from the wall. Keep the pressure, too. Yeah, electric pressure as well. Chanel now using the poke. The down back three from Lisa. Classic poke. Hasn't really gone for down three. Oh, but oh. no combo. That's a change here, right? Yeah, it's a lot harder to get that 4-4 four, four combo. Nice counter hit on the get up three. All the way. Big uh -huh. bang. Go! Ah. Big damage. Spring up. Goes for the mid. Looking for that wall pressure now, man. Chico is looking great. Oh. Vertical hockey converts anyway. Wow. Waiting for the rage. They're so patient. A 4 2. Man, Chicker. People have been talking about that geese, but this tournament has been all gin. Season 3 gin, and that's three rounds straight that versus was, Chanel. Was so clean, too. Like, I, I mentioned Chanel hadn't really used down three as a poke route. He can go to the down back three. Varian finally brings out the down three. Chicker already prepared for it. That was very, very impressive from Chickering. That was super impressive. Nice, simple play, super compact, not doing anything too crazy. And I think the very first round he closed out with the down four, and then after he's just like, I'm going to approach and do a down four to one, right? So either a very safe mid or a very safe low to close it out. Yeah, Jin's down four, I believe, minus 12, so it's not even like minus 13, yeah. so it's a very safe low. Oh, really? I, they must have changed that. It used to be launch punishable, but that was a tag too, I know. No, for no, sure. no, that was forever ago, yeah. yeah. Round one. Here we go, game two, infinite stage. At least it's known for a back dash on the stage. And we see Chanel actually go to infinite stage quite a bit after losses. Yeah, he, uh, he likes to have that space to move around. And I feel like it lets him play at his own pace, right? And maybe it's like the best way he can download the data on his opponent. Like, all right, let me see, what do you do after this and that? You step, you back dash. Taking his time right now. Lots of pokes. Oh, still gets his tail spin with the four. Not going to kill. And just right out of range. Oh, oh nice. And that's what I was talking about. He could have committed to yeah. it. Back to one would have got him a full combo. Didn't believe in it, though. And there's the rage for Chicken. He needs to be careful. Beautiful. Bob kick whips, and there's the punish for Chanel. Yes, sir. Chanel on the board. Oh, the mid finds its mark this time. Chanel likes to take his time when it comes back in some of these matches, though. But I feel like he's one, if he gets three rounds straight, he's one of those players that's going to run it all the way Damn back. Girl. Drops the combo, but gets the counter hit still. Not going to be the round, but it's going to be pretty close. Yeah, well, he went for the forward four. Didn't get a counter hit. He was then one for two afterwards. Didn't find that either. Chanel, huge lead here, looking much better. Just giving the whole wall. Well, Shimmy, get the low, okay. And this is what I was talking about when it comes to the stutter. That stutter also gives him exactly what he wants. Makes him whip. Takes the round. Two rounds straight. Oh, Chainsaw. Oh, you ducking. Does that convert to combo now? 
Wow, the hit right on the beat drop. That's what I'm talking about. Low kick. Here we go. Chanel still got a good life lead. He is chilling right now. He's got, I got life lead. No walls behind me. I'm gonna back dash forever. And this is exactly what he was talking about. Sidestep tries to go for the down four too. Now you see Chickering. He has to start. A, oh, oh, nice. He has to start advancing right now. Life lead in his favor right now. That two one four got him the lead. Yeah, the turtling really hasn't been working out for Chanel. Man, I can't believe that 214 was counter hit. He got all those hits. Mm -hmm. Gave him a life lead. About 15 seconds left on the clock. Life lead in favor of Chanel. Oh, Only slightly. It. There's the launch. And three rounds straight to bring it back. And we're going to a third game. Yeah, we talked about Chicken being very impressive in the first game. Chanel, very impressive the second game there. But now, what's Chicken do? Does he take the wall back? Yes, ah. he does. Geometric plane. So he wants the wall there, doesn't want Chanel to have free reign on that. But you can see, you know, Chanel looking for that side step right now. Oh no, I can tell you right now, these walls are definitely something that benefit Jin more than anything, right? Mm hmm Oh, the walls are so good for Jin, especially now with the new wall carry. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Ender is still so strong at the wall. Rage drives still wall splats. The wall bounce, the forward one plus two now. Yep, that's the carry even. Mm -hmm. That Zen one three gives you so much wall carry, it's perfect. Fight. Oh, Get off. Chainsaw stance. Oh, nice, that up 4 3. Yeah, rarely get to see that use from Jit players, too. I, I said yesterday that uh, shout outs to Ace Unlimited. He's the only person I know. Up 4 3 with Jit? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Counter and launcher, right? Mm hmm. Man, the Pokes, man, Chanel is just keeping off from where he left off last game. Now look at it. The life lead sends it all. Ooh. New moves, uh -huh. baby. Damn it, too. Yo, Chanel. We were talking about, you know, is he like. Top two three, we just don't really get to see it. Hop kick. Oh no, but the drop. They still got good positioning here with the wall. Yeah, slight delay on that will definitely make you drop the combo. And Chanel must have tried to do something right there. Oh yeah, without doubt. Usually you wouldn't get caught by that. Oh, oh chainsaw. All day. No, sir. The yeah, chicken's having a hard time opening up Chanel right now. Our time approaching too, the post as he's coming in. At the back one, the down back three, that time the down three. And see when he comes in, Chanel looks for that side to the right, but now the wall in the way there. Life lead, just only slightly. I can't even oh. tell. Down four two and Chanel looking like he's gonna have a round run right now. Yo, crazy. Five rounds straight for Chanel. Can he close it out with the double broom? Oh wow, the cancel. Oh, the, the, just the neutral jump standing four. He's a geese player. I like how you just threw that in there. He's a geese <laughs> player. Jumper, man. <laughs> oh, just slowly. Oh, the slot. Oh, oh. finally the low parry. Holy mother, look at this rage drive. Right the carry. Gonna get really close to the wall. Yeah, look at that at least a special get him, didn't find it. Oh, demon paw. Chicken trying to stay alive. Does he get caught by the rage drive? Faking. Oh, oh just high! Oh, oh, the magic the four! To get the round and the set. That's going to be it. Chanel moves on in the tournament. Wow. And it's not from lack of trying from Chickering. Ah, 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 yes. Yo, that scarecrow. Does the Vina pop off? Mm -hmm. What the Elisa play? <laughs> you got to be ready. You never know. What if he had to pull out the Zafina, you know?